imagine. It's definitely the most ambitious yet. I mean, it's it, it evolved it every year, and so, so this has to be the most ambitious in comparison, but it, it really is. They've, they've developed the stories in a more mature way. They've, they've uh, pushed our characters into uh, manhood you know, for, for the guys. And it's, 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 almost, it's the burden I've been waiting for. It's the, it's the, it's the stories I've been waiting to jump into and the character development that we want to explore. And we left the burden at the end of season four and, and where, he, where he did tip over into a darker side. Um, but, but really, that's, that's a reference for me, I think, for the rest of the season. It's just that we're now entering into it, that he is now on the other side of that river that he crossed. In the last season, he exposed himself quite a bit, revealing his magic to a lot more people. Yeah. How much further is that going to go in the next season? Um, I think he's... He's so confident now in himself. I think he's so confident about about, about who he is and, and, and what he's destined to do that that he's, he's a lot more guarded. He's a lot more um, he's a lot more inward and, and but and but with that inwardness I think comes comes a resilience and a power that he's that he that, that drives him for the whole season. He just the he, uh, he's yeah he doesn't he he's um, for, for Arthur in particular, I think, because Arthur's forced to confront magic a lot in this season in ways that um, could change everything for Merlin and for everyone. Um, and that's, that's really, really friggin' hard for Merlin. That's, that's, that's some of the toughest things. In fact, one of the most important scenes I think there's ever been in any season is in this season coming up. I think it is the most important scene there's ever been in terms of Merlin's magic. A lot of forces are coming directly at him. Okay. Like that, which means he has to come back bigger. Yeah. And he does. And he, he is more powerful. He is more in all respects, mentally, physically, and, and uh, you know, in terms of his magic, everything is up its game. Do you have any scenes with Mordred this year? Yes. Yes. That's the big. That's the big force this year. That's the one that's gonna. That's the one that's gonna. Um, you can stir the pot a little. Oh, I can speak up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> How does the uh, twist with the young dragon um, helping uh, Morgana play into a Merlin story? Does he find out, and how does? Yeah, that's a that's the dragons. I think for Merlin has always been a, has been something highly highly important for him because because he constantly refers to them as kin, as a connection, as you know, which is why he why he goes back to the dragon because he can't. There's no one else who he has that connection with. They are they are people of magic, creatures of magic, and regardless of it, I think I think he can, there's a lot of loneliness in Merlin, and, and the dragon's no longer what he was. He's no longer the, the source of advice. Merlin's kind of now going to because who else is he going to? So the baby dragon, I think, was, was, was a big thing for him. It's something he wanted to do to for, for the future. And there's a it's, it's actually a little bit upset what's, what's, what's to come with, with uh, the baby dragon. Um, well, yeah, because he seems to have chosen Morgana. Kind of. Chosen Morgana, that's a <laughs> yeah. big one, yeah. yeah. And something's happened with Morgana within those three years that we don't know about that has, from, from the first opening episodes, has put her on such a mission and such a drive that it's terrifying and nobody knows what it is. And, um, what her reasons for it are, but they will become clear throughout the season. But that's that's another thing. It's a school burners throughout the season as well. There's a lot of seeds that are planted that will grow later on. What can you share about the relationship developing between Arthur and Merlin and how they're really relying on each other, particularly now that they're both kind of well, Arthur's ruling Camelot, but Merlin's really the power behind him. Yeah, the the relationship is. Uh, Definitely becomes a lot more strained, I think, because um, 
Arthur is, is the king, um, Gwen is the queen. We're seeing Gwen, we're seeing Gwen become a real source of influence on him. We're seeing, seeing that become a, you know, a, a, a real, a real um, a rock steady, steady duo is you know, Gwen and Arthur. And Merlin's, Merlin's that, that but in a completely different way, in a way that he, because he's so much in the know of, of how things should be. Um, that magic is, is a huge is a huge blockade. So um, their relationship, I think, is is uh, it's it's kind of what it's always been, but it's it's something something's changed. It's, it's maybe it's just because they're more mature. Maybe that's what it is. They've, they they have they put us in situations which are the toughest we've, we've ever faced, um, but there's still room for for what we've always had, which is which is a bit of banter. <laughs> I think we're seeing with like with like even the knights because that was like that was a great source of comedy last year. It was you know you interacting with all the knights, especially you know yeah playing. you know that was like just a great friendship you guys had. Yeah no we definitely there's uh, there's, uh, there's there's some great stuff coming up with uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of um, missions that are, that all, all the knights go off on together. And Merlin's place within that now is a really interesting one because he's um, even at one stage he's forced to to be the leader. For example, you know, which is uh, which is good because he he he, uh, he can be now he can do it and um, you know whereas um, um, before before maybe he couldn't or maybe he wouldn't they wouldn't let him. Right. So I think that says a lot about about what how their relationship is about, that they actually go all right Merlin go for it. <laughs> Excellent. Does Merlin's loyalties feel divided between Gwen and Arthur when Arthur goes out to battle and Gwen's left in charge? That's always a, that's always a big thing. In fact, in fact, Gwen Gwen totally questions Arthur on it because Arthur's like, I'm going out on this mission and I'm going to save them. And she's like, Why are you going out? You should be like ruling Camelot and, and be here like a king would do. And she totally calls on her because because you know you would kings can really do that. There's something about Arthur that needs to be there and needs to get the glory and needs to get the thing and and that's something Gwen totally calls him up on. I think their relationship this year is really interesting. You were always, that, that was always going to be a huge injury. Um, but there's some stuff coming up, you know, because, because uh, Gwen and Morgana get some stuff together. That's all I'll say. <laughs> <laughs> and then Uther makes an appearance. Is Merlin going to get a chance to interact with Uther? There's um, a lot of pent up things, obviously, with, with Merlin with regard to Uther. Right. And uh, there is a confrontation. So. Is that big enough? <laughs> Possibly be more big if you want. There's some yeah, stuff, yeah. it happens. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, we could, they told us that we, we, we could say he's coming back, but uh, you know, that's, uh, but yeah, we love that. Yeah. 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 One of the things on the drawing board is a potential movie. How does that sound for you guys? I think it's very, very possible because because the direction we're going in now, it's, it's, it's solidified the legends. It's put us in a position now of, of it's brought us up to date with to kind of go, right, this is all the legends, and now here they are. And that opens up a whole new avenue. That's, that's set us up, and we're ready for more, you know, more, more stuff. Again, we don't know how this season's going to end yet, so that's a conversation how we got into whenever we do. But, um, but I think it's very possible. All right. With the popularity of the show, particularly globally, are you prepared to devote another six years to this show, hopefully? <laughs> yeah, another six years. But you know, there, there's definitely, as I said, it's, it's once we know how this ends, that, that's something that you know I'm always interested to know where your character's going to go. If there's, if there's room, if, if you go, okay, if, you, if it ended this season and, and everything was nicely rounded up in a package, then I go, okay, they, they're set. That's you know, producers, beefs and ducks, they just wanted to end it there. But if they leave it on a cliffhanger, and leave it on more, then that's a conversation to have with Johnny Jr. and say, okay, what, what are your plans? What, what do you, where do you want to go with this? And if, the, and if that's if that's an exciting prospect, I always go with the passion of something, the passion of a project. And if that's there, then yeah. Well, the way he was talking, it sounded like they had some seriously big plans going over a couple seasons more. Oh really? Did they? Okay, <laughs> then you're telling me. Top of that. That's good. <laughs> Well done. I think so. Well, one thing, uh, you know, with, with Merlin, you've already come a long way. It's something I've always also asked Angel, but you've come a long way and there's still a lot more to go. Uh, you know, it's ahead of you. Uh, 
what, how does it feel just to get to this point? To also know that you're, there's more for you to do in the future. That's that's the, that's what it's all about. I think it's it's always, always a growing up tale for Merlin, and you know, being from the boy, and now uh, a whole new chapter's opened up in this season, and as he enters into, into being the man that he's. Uh, and that's new pro- prospects for him because he, he has gained power, he has gained respect, and still no one really knows who he is. And that's something that's a big dilemma for him because it ha- everything has to be right, everything has to be in place, everything. He's a control freak, probably. And, um, and, but yeah, to, to know there's always more possibilities and endless possibilities, that, that's, a, that's a good place to be because that's where we all are in life at the minute. We don't know what's going to really happen within the next three hours. We, we think we do, but yeah, you know, life's full of unexpected possibilities, and, and that's that's what that's what yeah, this this show is all about. Isn't it? Also nicer that the roles are getting more adult too for you guys. Yeah, that's that's a big thing because you know the the, the, the kids who were who were 12 years old watching this series at the beginning and now come now nearly 18. You know, we have to grow up, you know, it's it's like the Potter, the Harry Potter films, you know, they right, just got uh, more progressively more, more darker as we go on, so that's something we've done as well, and, and I think the show's better for it. Okay, well thank you for your time. Thank you very much. Thank you so much.